It is 3 a.m. and I cannot sleep. We are less than 24 hours away from Scotland's biggest game in international history against Hungary. Therefore, there's only one thing for me to do, and that is pick the Scotland team that should start in the biggest game that we're ever going to play. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. My brother's already, I believe, put up his 11 prediction, or the 11 that he would go with for this game. And I'm going to do the same thing. So we're here on SkySports.com, football app here. They let you pick your Scotland 11, so shout out to SkySports.com. Uh, yeah, Scotland playing the night. Unfortunately, I do have a, a slave job I go to, not quite a 9-5 because it's a short shift on a Sunday. But I've got work to go over with then. It's home. It's watch Scotland and pray for Scotland and hopefully see Scotland for the first time, not just in my lifetime, but anybody's lifetime getting through to the knockout stages. So I'm absolutely buzzing for this. I, I mean, I could probably be feeling disappointed by the end of it. We know what Scotland do to us. They do let us down quite a lot, but it's Hungary. They haven't been good so far this tournament. They've been okay, but I expect that Hungary to top this group. I thought Hungary were going to be the dark horses, so I'm a lot more positive now than I was over a week ago of us beating Hungary, but it's still going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy, and I think we need all 11 of our players that start this game to be at their best. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Steve Clark formation, the five at the back, or the three at the back with the two wing backs. Now, this is called a 3-5-1, but it's the closest thing I could get. So, you've got your goalkeeper here, your three center backs, uh, a wing back, then you've got your midfield four, and your man up front. Now, a lot of people are saying that we should switch to a four at the back, go 4-5-1. Look, Steve Clark, does, he isn't going to switch it up. It wouldn't make any sense. This is the biggest game we're used to playing, the current formation. The current formation, in my opinion, gives us the best chance of getting a win here. Now, yes, in the future, should we maybe look at trying something else? I agree. I think we should. But realistically, we've been playing this formation now for years and years under Steve Clark. It just doesn't make sense to totally change it up when we've got the biggest game that we need to perform in. So I am going to go with the current formation. And in nets, I'm going to go with Angus Gunn. Now... I'm not a big fan of Angus Gunn, and I actually believe that maybe Sander Clark deserves an opportunity at number one, but he did perform okay, I thought, against Switzerland. He, he had some good saves. I mean, not many. There was one really good save in particular, and then a couple of okay saves, but I think this big game is probably not the right time to experiment with a new goalkeeper, so I will keep Angus Gunn in there for the time being, but I do think he could lose that jersey in the future. Moving into the centre-backs, this is going to be tough. We've got no Kieran Tierney. The big question is who's going to fill in at left centre-back. Um, in the middle, Ryan Portis, by the way, also suspended, so that's making things a little bit difficult. I'm looking at the possible defenders. Honestly, guys, we don't really have that much to choose from. I am going to go with... I'm going to go with Grant Hanley in the middle. I'll go with Jack Henry as the left centre-back, and I'll go with Scott McKenna as the right. I mean, that's my back three. It's not great. Ideally, I would have Tierney in there. I would probably have uh, Suter in there. I would probably have Portis in there if I had an option, but these are the best three that's remaining. I don't rate Cooper, so yeah, I'm going to go with these three. Uh, left wing, centre-back. It won't let me... Why the fuck won't it let me pick? Robertson, what the hell is this doing? Am I gonna have to? I'm gonna have to go do an hour. What the hell? I'm actually yeah, that's a that's a disgrace. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to pick a, a an actual formation here. So where's the one with the wing backs? Fuck you, Sky Sports. I was being kind to Sky Sports earlier, and they've just absolutely shafted me here, make me look like an absolute donut. Right, we're gonna go with this one, but obviously these two players here, they're more like attacking midfielders. So um, let, let's see if we can can we undo these. Can we? I don't think so. Oh, we can. Right, okay. So, I'm going to undo McKenna. Oh, I put McCrory in instead. I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, and then Hanley. Right, so I'll undo Hanley. So, right, I'm going to put Hanley in the middle. Grant Hanley in there. Jack Hendry in the left centre-back position. And Scott McKenna in the right centre-back position. Here, we are going to go 
with Andy Robertson, left wing back, right wing back. You know, I'm going to go with Anthony Ralston. I know he was pish. I I get that. I accept that. Uh, you could make a case for a case for Ross McCrory. Maybe he does deserve to play, but I just think the fact that Anthony Ralston has played two games, maybe he's saving his best for last. It's not ideal, but I think with injuries and stuff, and we just don't have many better players in that position. But I do think there's a case for James Forrest playing in here. I really do. Right. Moving in to the midfield, I am going to go with Billy Gilmore, and I'm going to go with, believe it or not, I know I've said quite a few bad things, but I'm going to go with Cal McGregor. We'll go with Cal McGregor and Billy Gilmore in there. Uh, the two attacking, I'm going to go with like two holding midfielders, and then two like further advanced attacking midfielders, and they are going to be, I think these guys picked for themselves, Scott McTomney, and I can't drop Super John McGinn. I know a lot of people are not impressed with what they're seeing so far with John McGinn, but I can't drop John McGinn, so there you go. Now, some people are saying, why don't we play with the 4-4-2 or, or, or a 4-3-3, three, three, something like that. Scotland just do not have the wide players. We don't have the whiff, we don't have the attacking wingers, we just don't have that, we don't have pace. And at least with this, we can like overload the midfield, and we can allow the wingbacks to get forward. If we play with a 4-4-2, then it means you're going to have to play with like Forrest and like Lewis Morgan or something like that out in the left. And I just don't think that's doable. I don't think we're going to change it up. So the, these are our best four midfielders. You look at our midfield, this is our strength. So I think we go with our strength. We've got Gilmore, McGregor, McGinn and McTomney in there. If these four guys can play to the level that we know they can, then there's no reason why they can't control a game for Scotland and help us get the win over the line against Hungary. And we need wins, so therefore I'm going to go with Lauren Shankland up front. We need goals. We may only get one chance, and if we get one chance, we damn sure need to take it. Lauren Shankland is a lot more likely to take that chance than Shea Adams is. So here's my team, guys. It's going to be, and I know there's not much of a change, to be honest. You can argue that it's a bit boring, but I think it's the team that Clark should go with. It's the team that I would go with. Again, there's players injured, players suspended. Maybe the right players were not picked. They weren't selected for the squad. I don't think this is by any means our best 11. But going into the game against Hungary, the players that we have available, I think this is probably, on paper, the best chance that we have of going through. So I'm going Gunn, Ralston, McKenna, Hanley, Hendry, Robertson, McGregor, Gilmore, McGinn, Shankland and McTominay. Let me know what you guys think down below. I could have changed up, I could have went four at the back, I could have put 10 strikers up front, but I just, I think we need to be realistic, I think we need to kind of keep it similar to what we've been doing, I just think we need to be better, and I think with Shankland up front, that gives us a chance of being better, it gives us a chance of scoring goals, so that's what I'm going with guys, let us know what you think down below, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.